Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are planning for the week of May 27th into June 2nd, the last week of May. And I'm using this Scribble Prints called Blossoming, which was my spring art, spring vibes art um, this year. And I'm using hollow foil with it, which I have a bunch of stuff from Planet Choco in her bloom design, which I thought was really pretty. I love the like little cartoony flowers. And I thought they went really well with this um, set. I also pulled in, I think it was a Plan With Me stickers um, spring quote that said a fresh start. And I just put that up in the corner. Um, but yeah, this week it was very much the start of summer. It was super hot and um, sunny all week and I got a bit done. I finished up a shop set, which I was really happy about. Um, yeah, and I finished a book as well. Not my audiobook. I didn't listen to it at all this week. So I really have to do that for next week because it needs to get done. <laughs> I'm sure I'm close to finishing it too. So, um, but I finished the third book of the Dune series, Children of Dune, Children of Dune. So, um, that was good to finish. And then on Sun, at the end of Saturday and, um, on Sunday, I started God Emperor of Dune, the next book. So I'm, I think I'm planning, we'll see how this one goes. And I, we might possibly be finishing up Frank Herbert's um, books of Dune. I'm, I'm not too interested in reading his son's books of them. So we'll see how it goes. But I, I will continue reading what Frank wrote because <laughs> I am enjoying it overall. Um, but yeah, those are the just books I've been reading on my Kindle before bed. But yeah, my audiobook that I usually read while I do work. I've just, I've been watching other stuff, listening to streams and things. So it's been difficult. <laughs> um, this week I also played a lot less video games. I, I would check in on my dream light just to check my shop each day. And of course I, I went and checked on the game on Wednesday. I did my dream snap on Friday because I would like some moonstones. But otherwise, I didn't do too much gaming through the week, although I did play a bunch of The Sims on Saturday, which was fun. I got back into that. I updated my mods. But anyway, that's probably enough of doing the base. Let's actually get into the plans so we can actually talk about them and put them in my planner. But yeah, so I, I'm, I still need to finish Chaos Terminal. Um, but yeah, I I did. I only got done with my main shop set this week. I just didn't have in me to do everything else. It's just uh, it's been hot, so I've been sluggish. But that is okay. We still got a whole set done, and I was very happy about that. But as per usual, on Monday we are going to put in Coffee Monday, and then we're gonna put in um. The plan with me that we're doing. I think I'm gonna shuffle two stickers around here um, from my plans. I'm gonna put work in here. I didn't bring out my tweezers or my pen. Okay, so Coffee Monday. I thought this cloud um, mug was perfect for this set. And I love the way that looks. A really good shade of blue as well, which is just on the normal, um, the normal, uh, multicolor from Andrea. And then we got the plan with me. That was our pre-plan with me went up and I did work this day. And then I just put this in because, well, I've put this kind of stuff in before and I just felt it was needed this day. I was feeling it this day. I feel like a lot of us were, but I won't talk about it here on YouTube because, you know, <laughs> the algorithms, but I think you can guess, um, I just wanted to put in, I just put in the text, please stop. <laughs> that is what I wrote in, please stop. Now, can I get both of these things in? I think I can. Let me put this here. I'm actually going to move this up, but you'll see when I put in the sticker that I chose. 
what I mean by please stop. I just feel like after this day also I felt like a lot more people in the planet community were posting about it on their stories. I know it's been a while but I don't know, people are getting there. But yes, just wanted to put please stop here. I am just really feeling it really sad this morning on Monday. Not that I don't feel it every day. Um, and then we had groceries delivered, we watched Psych, and because it's a hollow spread, I was able to pull out my Planner Hannah pineapples to mark watching Psych. And then I got my Kindle because I was reading Children of Dune before bed. And that is Monday. All right, so for Tuesday, I don't have as much to put in this day, but of course we got payday as per usual. <laughs> We have work and we also had happy mail delivered this day. That's a bit of kilter. I would just put this in the middle a bit better. We had, yeah, so I had stick and mail and stuff this day, which was nice. I also got some stuff from Brandon Sanderson's um shop which included a like his mistborn pack from the year of um sanderson so i got the i mainly bought it for the um bookends the mistborn bookends which you have um they look really cool they have vin and then i think i think it's really an inquisitor like chasing her but then um i also it also came with a plushie of a suni pup which was so cute <laughs> Um, but perfect for my little um, bookshelves that I'm putting together. So, I still don't have physicals of the, <laughs> um, of uh, the Mistborn books, but I think I'm going to collect the UK covers of those, the European ones, because they are very pretty. And then we can put them in the book ends. And then again, we were watching Psych, and I got um, a cheesesteak from Epus, and then I was just reading more Children of Dune. Children of Dune definitely felt longer than Messiah. I think it is physically longer, but I felt like I was reading it for ages <laughs> compared. So Wednesday, but I did prefer Children of Dune over Messiah. Like, I feel like I, I know the film, they're making Messiah into a film as like the third part of the Dune films. But, and there's gonna be some crazy stuff in there. The way it's gonna end, if it ends like the book, it's gonna be nuts. But, um, <laughs> a Children of Dune definitely has some crazier things in it, which is, you know, it would be kind of cool if. Denny decided to do that as well into a film because it's it's a lot but it'd be very cool and I feel like um, Anna Taylor Joy who's playing Alia would be just incredible in that in what happens to Alia in Children of Dune but <laughs> yeah that's it's too bad it won't, probably won't be made but I know there is a TV series of Children of Dune and it stars, stars James McAvoy as Lido too, but maybe one day I'd watch it. <laughs> so on Wednesday, my plan with me went up and I did more work as per usual. And then we got a new air fryer. So our old air fryer is over two years old now and we were using it literally daily. And we got we picked it up for like 70 euros. It was kind of like, it's on sale, it's cheap. Let's try out this technology, and of course, I love air fryer. I love her so much. I know it's just a mini convection um, oven, but we don't have a convection oven, and oh my god, it's if you don't have um, uh, air conditioning, it is so good in the summer because you don't have to put the oven on. <laughs> and it's just so easy to make fries and all sorts of things in it. So, um, Anyway, uh, after two years of everyday use, it finally bit the dust. Very sad, rest in peace. Our lovely air fryer, but that was the end of her. 
So we got a new one. We got a, um, a new Philips one. I can't, it's 4.3 liters and it has like a little window in the opening so you can actually have a look in to see what you're cooking. <laughs> um, but we got that new air fry in this day. And we didn't actually try it out until Saturday. And I'll tell you closer to the time what happened with that. But anyway, new air fryer. I think it actually looks a lot nicer and it's the basket is actually bigger than our old one, but the machine itself overall is smaller. So it looks even better on the counter, which is great. And I will say we used it on Saturday for the first time and it cooked everything really well, but I'll tell you when we get to that part of the week, what else happened. <laughs> Um, and then we watched Psych. I read obviously Children of Dune that night, but then for dinner I got, well the restaurant is called Waffle, uh, the restaurant is called Chicken and Waffles, but they actually, it's chicken and pancakes, which is what they do. <laughs> so I'm going to write chicken and pancakes, because that's what I have for dinner. Alright, so that is the first half of the week all finished. Loving her. I kind of wish I'd done more blue instead of maybe the green, but that's okay. We will live. <laughs> so for the blue, so I think I prefer the blue pattern over the green pattern, but what you gotta do? I wasn't thinking obviously when I did the base. So we had the new release go up, that was for Sunshine, new release, and then Locke went to the doctors this day. Um, and the other main thing I'm going to put in this, the rest of this section is that I filmed, uh, whoop, I filmed the sticker haul as well as an organization video, which we'll see later this month. Um, I got all the stuff I needed for it in this whole, in this like sticker order. So yeah, I did a bunch of that. So I'm going to put that in. I don't know if you could tell, but it is warm right now. I'm very sweaty and I'm feeling very tired, so we need to get this video done. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. Okay, L at doctor. All right then. Um, then I'm gonna do another one for work. We just still get a fair bit of work done this day. Then we watched Psych. Um, with these boxes, it may not be easy to put in my book. Might be able to put the book in. Maybe like this. Ugh. Ugh. I'm pushing it. I'm pushing it. <laughs> okay. Maybe we should change up the icons that we use here. So, of course, we got the pineapple for psych. Um, but then I think maybe I have to change the icon for this. So, uh, because, you know, look, I took the doctor this day and we were doing a whole bunch of stuff this week in preparation for the doctor's appointment. We ended up getting steak delivered this night and we do have little steaks from SBC. So I'm just going to use the steak to mark that just because luck had been a good boy. So steak. All right then, and um, my book. So then Friday, I had my kit lineup go live. Oop. Kit lineup for my June kits. And then of course we did work and I was able to finish the set this day. Maybe we'll switch this up. Work and then listings. We're able to get all done, which was excellent. I ran out of like icons to use for kit lineup, so I'm just using this pencil. <laughs> um, and then we got the little laptops from, sorry, laptops. We got the little tablets and pencils from um, once more with love this week. Got listings. It was very nice listening to music. That was my next thing I was going to put in. Um, let's have a look. I want to put in 
Children of Dune. And then we had, I did my dream snap for Dream Light Valley. Basically, um, there's like a premium shop where you pay for, where you pay for, I don't know, like a currency, then you buy like premium items. But you can earn this premium um, currency moonstones by doing dream snaps. Like taking like themed photos every week. So I was doing that. Because I know there's a leak that there's going to be like a hobbity kind of house coming out. So your girl needs it. So I need to make some moonstones. They did the dream snap. Uh, but yeah, I was, I was listening to some Australian music, an Aussie playlist on Spotify while doing my work in listings. And then, yeah, Children of Dune. Ugh, I'm getting sticky. But luckily, um, all this foil and overlays will stop me from sticking to any of the ink on the art. Whew, okay. So let's get through this week. We, I did some filming on Saturday. Um, I filmed the base for the next week. Then I played some Sims. Well, after I also updated all my mods. Because it had been quite a while since I played Sims. So, we've got film in the morning. I've been playing, getting back into my Sims in Bloom Legacy. I'm still on, I'm still on uh, generation one, so, but generation two is a child and almost a teen, so that is fun, except when I finish the game, my Sims, my first generation Sim, Daisy, finally gave birth, she was pregnant when I stopped playing, and she ended up having twins, and I'm very annoyed, because <laughs> I don't want to play with twins at the moment, but there you go. So we've got a lot of babies going at the moment. A lot of babies. Um, but anyway, my Gen 2 Sim in the Legacy is called Chloe, and then her siblings that were born this day are Hazel and Rowan. <laughs> I'm trying to do like naturey names because it's Sims and Bloom, right? And then, yeah, so don't judge me, but um that after doing laundry. I made brownies, and I specifically made pumpkin cheesecake brownies, which I know pumpkin's supposed to be a whole autumn thing. Although eating them now, they're really good, but I don't feel like they're specifically autumn-y. I didn't get much from the the pumpkin of the cheesecake, to be honest. <laughs> but they were really good. I had a tin of pumpkin I really needed to use up. So, um... Yeah, I made pumpkin cheesecake brownies. I'll put the um, recipe down in the description box because they are really good. And I will say, you should make them the day before you want to eat them and put them in the fridge. Because when they're like super cold out of the fridge, they are so good. Like texture wise, delicious. Really good brownies. <laughs> um, and then I painted my toenails, which I only do once every summer. I still had some of my color from last year, <laughs> but I cut, I painted them dark purple for this year. I just, I'm not, I don't want to talk about feet, so, but I ended up being wearing socks to bed and stuff, so I wanted them painted. So I did my one paint job. <laughs> um, and then we watched Psych, and then I finished Children of Dune this night. Let me fill this in, and then I'll tell you my story about the air fryer. I just wrote in pumpkin cheesecake, so I feel like with the picture of the brownies, it makes sense. So this night we made roast chicken in the air fryer, as we like to do, christening the new air fryer. And when we pulled the chicken out, um, the handle like broke off. But like, like not snapped off, but like it screwed in and it just came off the screws and the handle just off. And we're like, oh my god. We literally just got her this week. It'd be such a pain in the... But if we have to try and um, return it. Anyway, so we decided to wash it and dry it. And this Sunday, this Sunday, which I'm going to put in actually into this spread. Um, what way do I want to do this? I might put it here. Um, I was like, okay, 
I had a look, we had a look at it and you could actually um, see the, I'm going to put this down here. Am I? Or actually, <laughs> let me like move my life about. Okay. I'm just trying to see what I can fit into this day. Anyway, so, um, yeah. So I can see that you can actually unscrew the front of it off where the handle goes in. So we've undid all the screws, opened her up, and we were actually able to screw the handle back on. I don't think it was like, I think in the manufacturing process, they just you know, quickly screwed it together and it wasn't really tightly screwed enough. I think, oh, lock drops I think, but um, I think that was the problem. So we had to like, you know, we had to take apart, like, I realized we took apart too many screws, so we had to, you know, it was like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like nine screws all together. We only actually had to undo six screws, but anyway. We got it all apart, we screwed the handle back on and got it back together and it works now. So it's all good to, as new. <laughs> it just took some fiddling. We didn't use a drill, just a hand drill, but a hand screwdriver, but we did the little handy work and got that screw back on and should be back to normal. I think we just have to be a bit more careful with something heavy like a, a roast chicken. We tried it out with a big, like a, a whole carton of milk and that seemed to be fine so yeah anyway we, we dealt with that but also today um, I did some work in the morning um, I'm out of hollow work scripts but <laughs> I'll just use a black one here but um, yeah I did some work I had to work on some newsletters and stuff this morning I did some cleaning I cleaned the bathroom and I washed the towels and then we fixed the air fryer there. It was just funny, we're putting the chill chicken out and then the like handle just came off. I'm like, what the heck? Anyway, <laughs> and then we have watched some psych. And I was doing this filming. Um, I don't think I'm going to be doing anything else today. I'm just going to go and relax in front of the fan after this because I am warm like in Ace Ventura, warm. So, <laughs> we put in psych. I did this filming. I've done the pre-plan with me as well today and I'm gonna edit and upload these videos. And I'm just gonna relax and um, we, I'm gonna continue reading God Emperor of Dune as my current book. I mean, is there anything more badass than the name God Emperor of Dune? Anyway, <laughs> that is the finished spread for this week. Let me fix her up a bit. You can see here. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I should have done two of the blue for the days, but that's okay. It still turned out pretty. So let me zoom out. My desk is a little bit of a mess here because of my plans and whatnot. Okay. We also have some cluster deco to add to the spread to finish up here. So let's do that. Um, but yeah, no, it's pretty simple week. Luck just had that medical thing week, which it kind of took up the entire week. So, uh, but we're glad it's done. Um, it was just, uh, you know, just trying to figure out what the heck is happening and didn't really give us any answers, so that was nice. <laughs> Gotta keep on going. Um, just uh, luck is one of our chronic pain girlies, so but we gotta keep working on it. Keep striking everything out. But it's also good, you know, to give any of these tests to go because you never know, like, um, if you need any testing, don't be afraid. You're just going to get it done at the doctor's because it's better safe than sorry, I think. Um, you just never know what, got, what could get picked up that you never really noticed. Luckily, it was... Luckily and both unluckily, it was nothing this time. But <laughs> the 
The search continues. Such is life with medical things. Sometimes. I think I'm going to use one more. I'm going to use one up here. Just some little hollow. The hollow will look better in the sun. You can get a little bit out. My window is partially open. But that is the whole spread. I think it looks super cute. Yeah, with the green, um, the dots, I feel like I should have done blue. But I, I think I went blue in the middle because it was in the bottom washi. But I love the way this spread came out. It was perfect for this sunshiny, um, busy week, which, you know, I got a set done, so I'm very happy with myself. <laughs> uh, and I finished a book, so that's great. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this plan with me. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did. Otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I love you. Bye-bye.